baby where them walk me at Where don't make me feel let say I'm not man enough I no get nothing for offer So all me party when look down on me Where don't make me feel let say My life no good become something I'm the w- is Jesse Contest, corporate sales representative from Sierra Tel. Um, the turnout for this um, event today has been so massive. As you can see, um, customers are still standing online waiting to get their products from Sierra Tel. The 4G products, we have our MiFi, the Wigo, we have also our Huawei CP, we have the landline, we have the phones, everything. People are just coming in to get even our 4G SIM, which is very, very fast. and. So far, so good. The turn up has been so great for this morning. and Jalan, the government spokesman. Oh, it's nice up here. Uh, today we are launching the 4G LTE. Could you please tell the people more about LG 4 <laughs> Well, we're talking about broadband yeah. and we're talking about speed of, I don't know, Mac 3 or Mac 4 in terms of technology, in terms of internet connectivity. Uh, it only means that uh, Sierra Leone is coming in the up and up. Sierra Leone is coming in line with uh, advanced countries in terms of connectivity. Uh, having 4G would allow us to download information faster, download huge amounts of information, and uh, put our hands on the information facet as best as possible. Oh, that's wonderful. Could you please uh, tell, tell the common people what does you expect more? Of course, um, you would expect to have a much more inexpensive internet connectivity, more efficient. You would be able to look at your Facebook and download pictures, download information, download documents. For those of you that are in universities, you can research much faster, all of which will just support everything about human existence in the 21st century. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Hi, uh, welcome to Pocket TV. Uh, we're from Nigeria. My name is Oshmani, and it's good to have you here. Could you please tell us your name? Siaka Stevens. Your name is Saka TV? Yes. Saka TV? Yes. Oh my God! You need to know what I just heard. He's the owner of the popular street Saka TV. My granddad. Oh, your granddad. Yeah, oh, that's granddad. wonderful. You heard about the LTE? Yes, I've heard about it. I've got the MiFi. You already got a my phone quickly. And you're coming to get extra one today. Extra one today, yes, exactly. It's like, very good, it's very quick. Uh, and I'm glad it's a Serenade and based company that uh, how well has been serving you. It's been very good. I, I, I used to have the old one before. It was very good. I have the internet at home as well. 
So I'm very happy with the service that they provide. Oh, yeah. this is a good testimony. We already have somebody that's tried it, tested it, and it's perfect. Yes. So, what else do you expect from us, from uh, from from, from Surreter? Well, it's the kick forward to move up. I think before we're always a step behind Europe and the West. So now it's thinking about 5G. They're launching 5G in the West now. We're thinking about 5G. It's time for Africa to catch up. Oh, that's wonderful. So we're a step behind. But it's time for us to be on parity with the West. Okay. So we should give it up to Sereto. Yeah, so it's all. Well done. But it's, so it's, it's, it's which now are you giving? Are you giving these? Are you giving Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. You say thumbs up. Yeah, always. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, mommy. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You're welcome to Pocket TV, and we are at a 4G LTE Soretel launch today. We're talking about the 4G LTE. What do you understand about the 4G LTE? Well, I know it makes um, the browsing faster than you know the 3G. For the 4 makes it um, quite a bit faster and um, less boring because when I use the 3, it's boring because I have to wait for a little while before I could get connected. And I know with the 4G, it's going to enhance things and it's going to make browsing much, much, much easier. So, which side are you going to give to Seratel, ladies, ladies, or which side? Seratel, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Believe in me. Now everything don't change. Me gonna see me life now. It don't get turned now. Where am I standing them now? You don't go fit, say, you don't know me now. Anytime I like a flight to the... I'm Joseph Suleiman Kaloko. I'm in charge of trade, investment, tourism, and culture attached to the, to the Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. For sorry. Wow, that's wonderful. It's nice to have you here today. Uh, Seratel has been uh, on 3G services to the uh, masses, and now they have upgraded to 4G lights. Uh, what do you have as an understanding to the 4G lights? Well, um, this, this, this is a massive um, development for Seratel as a government-owned company, and it's the people's company. So if they are upgrading them, their network for a better chance for Seratel to be able to make use of Seratel as their own property. And for us, it's good. In the technology world, if you're going to 4G and from 3G, it, it shows that something, some development is taking place. Uh, the sales of the product and the availability in the areas you've just mentioned, what is the strength of the availability? Well, uh, it's available. It's available because uh, a lot of people have not known that uh, the system is out, the new product is out, because as I told you just about three weeks ago, and we are going to entrench our extension to those areas that do not have enough. I'm sure before the end of the month, those areas will have the services, they will have the products available. Well, I want to ask you again, I heard your, your office, you are the head of, I'm the human resource manager. Okay, as human resource manager, could you please tell us uh, what the staffs have put, the strength in which the staffs have put together to make this day come to pass? Oh, we have a very, very, very strong staff force in terms of number, number is just about 300. And uh, we have a highly skilled staff. Recently, a team came from China and others are still in China. And we have a highly experienced staff. They are very dedicated and hardworking. We have never, they have never disappointed us in terms of capacity and knowledge, in terms of their performance. They are doing fine. The staff is doing fine. So what will you say to the staff of Sereta? Uh, we just motivate them more, that there is more to come, and their efforts will not go away in vain. They are going to be highly rewarded because, of course, they know that as we make more, they get the benefit, and the country gets the benefit, and our customers are happy. Because we believe in the good work, hard work, and smart workers will promote good business and then we can get it in return. The understanding is there for all workers and the more we do better for the, our customers, the better returns and then the, the more we grow as individuals and collectively as a company. Right. Hello, my name is Michael Amusa. I'm the marketing supervisor for Seratel. And so far today we are launching the 4G. Of course, I'm excited. The people of this country are excited. We are having the fastest and the most affordable networks in Sierra Leone for the first time. And it's been introduced, or I will say it's been launched by our own, very own Seratel, the mother of all telecoms in this country. And I happen to be mending table two. We have different products like this 
one, we call it the low end. It's still running on the CDMA for just 60,000 loans. And this is the newest 4G MiFi. It's 600,000 loans with one month subscription. Of course, it's a bundle offer and it's going to last for a month. All right. And this one is what we call the plug and play. You put it to your PC or probably your your any device that can be plugged into it. And this one is going for 400,000 with one month subscription. Now we have the super business solution, which is the C CPE. Okay, this one is connecting up to 32 users and it's the fastest. Um, my name is Chief Superintendent of Correction, Almami T. Bangora. Wow, that's wonderful. Chief Superintendent, not ordinary Chief Superintendent, but of correction. Yes, could you right. please, could you please correct us? <laughs> well, um, as the name implies, my institution or my place of work is the Sierra Leone Correctional Service, and we're here to correct not only the Sierra Leoneans but inmates as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Uh, today we're launching the 4G LTE. Uh, what do you understand about it? 4G LTE. Well, that's why we're here to see all what it takes about, what it looks like, you understand? Because Seratel has been a partner in development and we are partnering with them, more especially the Sierra Leone Correctional Service. They are providing internet facility for us, that's why we're here. And me being the finance officer, I'm responsible to effect their payment for the services that they render to us. That's why we're here today to see how best this new product or this new facility can improve or can improve or bring in new values into the system that is ongoing now. Okay, they've been serving you with the 3G and now they upgraded to 4G LTE. What do you expect? Well, we're expecting um, the, the values that, that has been there for it to be upgraded because looking at the previous system, for example, like we in the Australian Correctional Service, we are using two megabytes or two meg, okay? But we are constrained. So with this new system, I think the system will improve so that we'll have efficient and effective system internet facility. So you're expecting uh, a huge, fast internet in your office? Definitely, definitely. Because that's one of our constraints of now. When you log in to access even your mail, it will not be an easy task for you. But with this intervention now, I think it will be a feather in our car. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. nice having you around. It has been your pleasure. Money all the way from Pocket TV Nigeria, and I'm presently in Sierra Leone at an event where we're launching the 4G LTE. And I'm with one of the boss, we're gonna speak with him right now. Hello, what's your name? Thomas King, I am the chief finance officer of Sierra Tel. Oh, it's nice to meet you right at the event today. Oh, please, could you please tell us about the 4G LTE? Um, 4G is an improvement in what we know 2G, 3G, 4G. 2G is second generation, 3G is third generation, and 4G is an advanced stage of the 3G, which is fourth generation, and it's the, 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 the best technology available now for telecoms. So if I may ask you, LTE, what's the full meaning? Long-term evolution. Long-term evolution. Now, a lot of countries have been on 4G for a very long time, but Sierra Leone is just coming on 4G in 2018. What is the delay? What caused the delay? 
Well, basically, 4G is not a, a new thing. What 4G does, it improves your speed. And for you to invest in 4G, you need to have a big market. But us, as a government company, we don't have to. We don't have to have big market because we're here to supplement the effort of government. So now, the 4G has come for the Sierra to enjoy fast and better internet. But what is the affordance for people that have been used to the level of operation before? And the, of course, the upgrade will require increase of price, right? Will it be affordable? No, basically, what, what's happening is with 3G, your speed is low. With 4G, your speed is 10 times faster. So what we've done, we've reduced the price drastically. So there, there will not be any effect. We have actually sliced the price three times. So, so the price is not going up. You're getting now, it's cheaper and faster. Now, the 4G light, it comes on all your, all, all your products. The SIM card, the, uh, the dunk, you know, the router, but see, now basically what we have, we have the MiFi, and it's here, and everybody knows the MiFi. It's, 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 used, it's one of our flagship products. MiFi is a wireless mobile that you can work with. You have a mobile phone, it works, but for it to work, you need to have a 4G enabled phone. Not all phones are 4G enabled. So if you're buying a phone, ask that you want a 4G enabled phone. And it works on, we have Wingle. Wingle is a form of dongle, but it broadcasts Wi-Fi. So they call it Wingle. And we also have router. So we, 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 you can use your, we, and we also have SIM card, which you can use on phones, on your tablets, on everything. Yeah. Basically gets us for everything. Yeah, that reminds me, I heard uh, uh, Seratel SIM card does not work on other phones. Before, we used to have a CDMA. CDMA is customized to a phone. It is not a GSM. That is plug and play. That is why we've moved from, we want to move from CDMA to 4G. And now, thank God, we've moved to 4G. Which means if you have a 4G phone, a SIM card will be able to work on your phone. Oh, thank you very much. Hello, oh, well, my name is Osmani Yorwe from Pocket TV Nigeria. And we're here today to hear about the development that Syria Loan has launched in 2018. Could you please introduce yourself? I am Proven Brown, I'm the Chief Commercial Officer of Sierra Terrell. And today, what are we doing? Uh, we're launching the first 4G LTE network in Sierra Leone. How does it work? Uh, you know that um, 4G is the fourth generation. And 4G LTE? Yeah, long-term evolution. So um, 4G is one of the latest technology in data development. It's fast, it's sweet, and a lot of people that have been using it are giving us the feedback. And they are really, really enjoying it. 4G is now the new way of, of, of internet and speed in Sierra Leone. You see, affordable for the oh, yeah, people, for the layman. Uh, you see, you see um, the, the, the thing about 4G, like if you like have a, a, a one gig of data and, and you want to uh, download a movie, if you, if you have 3G, it will take you something like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. But with 4G, you can download a movie in like five minutes or less than five minutes. And so you'll be spending less money than what you'll be spending on, on the 3G. Now, the competition in the market, in the network market, how is uh, Seratel 4G Lite going to stand out? Um, you know that um, Seratel, uh, what we're doing now, we're entering into a new market. We are not in a smartphone market. We are not in a smart mobile market. We are predominantly known for the business solutions because we are the only institution that has direct fiber that you can bring fiber to institutions, fiber optic, fiber optic, and we are the only institution that has a land fixed landline internet that goes directly into the home. So we are we are very well known for, for internet solutions for fixed and uh, business. But now we are venturing into the mobile data market, and I think um, if you are saying the competition, let's see, because we know what we are and we really are capable of withstanding anything. Oh, all right, the masses now, what is the communication to the masses with this? Well, um, the low, the lowest. Yeah, but you know, um, the issue about 4G, 4G, 4G data yeah. is that it's, like, it's like a new phenomenon in the market. So it's, it will not say it's not a mass market stuff because um, most of the smartphones coming out now are 4G enabled. The cheaper smartphone that uh, even a lower man can get into the market. 
The long and short of it is that we have to have internet on the go, fast internet. Even if you go to school, if you can see the kids, they, use, they need internet to do their homework. They need internet to research oh, yeah. and do a lot of these things. So oh, yeah. I tell you, as, as I listen to their cry, it has been a long time that a lot of people have been saying, what are you doing, Sarah? Tell. We need smartphone. We need smartphone because we want to be doing internet. With the old technology, we cannot do it. So now we've had the, the people's cry and we've, been, uh, we've bought smartphone for the market. So now this can serve both the rich and the poor. Anybody can afford it. Across the board. Oh, That's wonderful. Board. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you around. Thank you. Uh, what, what do you understand by the 4 GLT? Well, um, as far as I know, the 4 GLT is a giant leap, leap in terms of data service because it is four times faster than what we used to have that is a CDMA platform for Soratel. Uh, it is the fourth long-term evolution you know that means we are going to experience the fastest internet service that is going to be provided by Soratel. Probably the first uh, company which is Sierra Union owned that is going to uh, provide this, this, this particular service. So when we talk about the 4G LTE compared to other uh, network 4G LTE, Saratel compared to Oran, which one would you prefer? Of course, the 4G LTE, because uh, as I told you, Saratel is the sole company that is providing this service. Uh, above all, we, some of us know that Saratel is also good to the fiber optic cable. You know, the fiber optic cable, as you know, is the fastest means of uh, internet communication these days. So, in effect, I believe, sir, I tell the 4G LTE is going to give us a whole new experience in terms of data, you know, in terms of communication. So, I tell is going to, the 4G LTE is going to give us a whole new experience. So, sir, I tell, compared to other networks, which one do you think is more affordable? Well, of course, as you know, Sayatel has always been the most affordable company, as far as my knowledge is concerned, because this is not the first time I've been used, utilizing their services, their network, and uh, I know from my research, from the information I've gathered around, Sayatel is definitely the most affordable, the cheapest, and the best. So, all over 10, what will you rate Sayatel? Uh, I will give them 9. So, why do you keep the many one? Well, because they're still for improvement, I have to be very honest. This is a... Uh, 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 a Sierra based industry, as you know, the economy, we are still struggling to stand on our feet. So I will not be too over, 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 over optimistic. But to, to be honest, Sierra Tel have come a long way, and I want to believe they have more room for improvement. So far, we'll give them a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Yeah, how you doing, sir? I'm fine. Uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, today is the launching of the Forge Light Sierra so uh, the best network. Uh, you just finished with the launching. What can you tell us about the Forge Light? Well, indeed, it's a clear manifestation of what Australia is keeping in peace with the ICT revolution. Wherever you go today is either uh, internet, social media, mobile telephone. You have to be along. And I believe that um, as a new government, when we win the elections, ICT is going to be a major pillar in my government. Okay, like, I want to know, as they have just brought up this 4G LTE, the competition in the market with other network companies, how is it going to be like? How are we going to manage that as a government? Well, there is a regulator. I leave that to the National Telecoms uh, commis Commission. Uh -huh. They will manage them. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, the, the masses out there that are to benefit from this, what do you have to say to them so that they can know the government is at work? Well, I think we still have a lot of education to do. We need to go out there. Given the high level of uh, illiteracy in this country, we have a lot of work to do in educating the people about the use of the internet, about the ICT revolution. So, for me, it works just as now. You can launch this in Freetown, it's fine, but we have to go out there where the major users, potential users, reside. Okay. All over 10, what will you rate, Sarita? All over 10. All over 10. I think. Of this launch, that today they are top actually. Uh, I mean, launch of four G. But they are top. It? They are top. <laughs> <laughs> they are top. I mean, launch uh, the four G. Yeah. Today. So all over ten. What will you rate there? Pardon? All over ten. Seven, eight, nine. All well, they still have a long way to go. So all over five G. Five G is coming very soon. Okay. Will you give them this or you give them this? No, I give them a thumbs up. You give them a thumbs up. <laughs> I give them a thumbs up. <laughs> it's nice to have you around. Thank you. So You're pleasure. welcome, sir. It's a pleasure. Yes, sir.
Tony, all the way from Pocket TV Nigeria, and we are here to support at broadcasting the development that's happening in Syria alone because a lot of activities that happen in Syria alone remains in Syria alone, and we are here to come and expose what is happening in Syria alone so that people can begin to come to Syria alone to enjoy the facilities in Syria alone. I will hear about the 4G LTE launch today. Can you please tell the viewers what it's all about? Thank you very much. This is just one call in the wheel of development that President Koroma has started in Sierra Leone since 2007 to now. A 10 years program of promises and development. Now we are just trying to roll out and putting out the report card. This is the culmination of work that we've been doing on ICT, especially when I was there as Minister of Information and Communication. There's a rollout of the uh, fiber optic backbone for the whole country, going as far as the border for Liberia and uh, Guinea. And then the Atlantic uh, uh, subsea the cable that goes all the way to Europe to connect us to the world. And that is now made Sierra Leone one of the places that is open for communication. Launching the 4G is the last mile in trying to connect all of this highway of information to uh, give access to the people of Sierra Leone. And it pervades the country. It's all over. There are very few places now with uh, uh, little coverage of this uh, uh, network. And we are very, very happy that this is happening. It is in line with the development. We have done the roads network. We have done the electricity. I keep still doing that. But the, the, what we have done is much more than what is left to do. And here we see an opportunity to also add to the value of the welfare of the people, linking them up to the information highway for their social engagement, for their the commercial, industrial, and entrepreneurial activity. So this is opening up and also the opportunity for students to be able to access universities, even in Nigeria, sitting in their villages. Yeah. They can link up and attach themselves to the University of Nigeria at Nsuka. They can apply to Amadou Bello University in, 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 in Bayero, the Bayero University, yeah. and all that sort of thing. So we are now opening Sierra Leone so that people, without traveling to anywhere, they can enjoy facilities available in other places. So I believe that Sierra Leone has come of age. Thank you very much. So if you want to give uh, numbers or rates to Sierra Leone, all over 10, what will you rate them? I'll give them a 7 over 10. 7 all over 10. The other 3 is for them to do more. Oh, the other 3 is for, you to, for them to do more. It's quite wide. Yes? It's quite wide. No, 3 is a lot. 7 over 10 is 70%. That's the first class. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fantastic. It's Fantastic. good to have you around. Yeah. You're Thank welcome, you. sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. And my name is Alpha Kanu. I'm the Minister of Information and Communication. Oh, can you please say that again? Sir, Alpha Kanu. Okay. Like, of... like the footballer. Oh, yeah. I'm the Minister of Information and Communication. Oh, it's... Yeah. And my route is Aba, as Arochuku. <laughs> yeah. That's Nigerian. That's so now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Oshmani Orwe from Pocket TV Nigeria and we're presently here in Sierra Leone at uh, the launching of Serata 4G LTE. Could you please introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Ato Anaman from Ghana. I've actually been brought here to support the project. I was actually at the helm of affairs in the putting up the infrastructure for this project in terms of Huawei. So yes. we, we, where, where do you work? Huawei. Huawei. Okay, you have some of your products here? Of course, we have we've been, have, we've been able to provide the MIFIs and everything which are actually on the 4G network. As you can see, everything was just displayed over there for everybody to see. And we know that we are actually excited to be the forefront of the delivery of this particular project and everything has been a success. So we are very glad to be able to support Seratel in actually to put particular, this particular you know, network. We're supposed to be 10 times you know, faster than the current 3G we have. Seratel has been you know, on a lucky page to be the first operator in Sierra Leone to launch successfully of this particular unit. So it's just you know, a very big advantage in terms of you know, the data coverage and everything. People can be able to you know, browse with high speeds, people who feel comfortable serving online and all that. So it's just a great opportunity and we as you know, great partners of Seratel, we are excited to be at the forefront of this and we hope that we will support Seratel in, in the near future. Thank you very much. Your name once again and your company name? Ato Anaman, Huawei. Sierra Tel has today uh, commercially launched the 4G LTE network and uh, we encourage you all to come to any of the Sierra Tel POSCs and get affordable and fast internet services in Freetown and most provincial areas. This is just the beginning of several other de development to come in Sierra Tel.
Thank you all. Finally, we are able to get a boss. He's been hectic to get him. A lot of people want to see him, and now we are able to get him. You are welcome to Pocket TV Nigeria. Thank you, sir. Uh, could you please introduce yourself to the people? Uh, my name is Erotisi, Managing Director of Sierra Tel. Today, we are launching the 4G Light Sierra Tel. Can you please tell us more about it and what the people tend to benefit from it? Uh, 4G is simply the fourth generation of the existing uh, GSM standards. Uh, what we have in the market currently, especially with all the operators, is 3G. Seratel uh, has been the first company rolling out 4, 4G, meaning now we can deliver uh, internet speeds that are 10 times faster than 3G. LTE wasn't for me. Long term evolution. That is the network of the future. Okay. Now, it has been launched with uh, much expectation from the people, but in terms of uh, patronage, will the people be able to afford it in, in terms of affordance? Our services are affordable, like I indicated in uh, my vote of thanks. Uh, for instance, what the competition is doing for all net costs is 650. We're doing it at 500. Uh, similarly, so we're giving unlimited data for a small price. I mean, and uh, when you compare that to what others give, ours is affordable, it's cheaper. And we have always catered. This is why MyFi, which was actually meant for high end, we have made it come low because you can buy the device and pay as little as 15,000 for a, a, a whole 24 hours on limited access to internet at high speed. I would say what I've seen as the best development in Sierra Leone so far is what has just happened today because the entertainment industry has been backdated because of bad internet. But with this 4G, uh, I really want to give a thumbs up like everybody has been giving thumbs up to the company and the, uh, the people behind it. It's really a wonderful platform and I really want to know how easy, easy for people to assess your outlet. I cannot agree with you more. Uh, definitely, a lot of Sierra Leoneans today are proud to be uh, the owners of the business. Uh, we all know that Sierra Tel is 100% government owned, and if it is 100% government owned, then we all own it as, as a people. Uh, for them to see this development, and especially Sierra Tel being the first amongst giants to rule out 4G, something very impressive. I'm also so delighted. Uh